Hello and welcome to the show. We start this week's Fall Race episode with Chevy Man gaming on GTA 5, learning the dangers of motorbikes as he does a wheelie, bounces off a curb, clips a tree, and then gets propelled along the floor pretty much on his face. I don't know quite what caused the sudden acceleration, but uh, there we go. Jamjar Hastings uh, learns the dangers of a bench that managed to get caught under the wheels of his shaft and gets rolled over of a vending machine, does get the car back onto the wheels as an opponent goes to go past, squeezes him against the barrier, and then he goes for a spectacular tumble as well. Not a very safe area of the track. Jim Lad 43 has got a tank and is swatting at the army vehicles. Now this is very good fun, using the barrel to swat the barracks and other trucks out of the way. However, the Mesa is having none of it. As it's caught and the Mesa goes to space, the tank does a flip and a twist and does come back down. Uh, eventually the Mesa is still going. I think it might actually have survived as well. I don't think it exploded in all of that. Manual with Clutch is uh, having if issues with his car. Not quite being able to slide out. Can't push the AI Landstalker either. Eventually does freak the AI out, in AI out enough that he goes forwards. Unfortunately forwards is straight into a tram and then rolls. You could have timed that one better really if you tried at uh, that instance on the two of Watchdogs with more dangerous kind of bikes. Player tries to stop a fleeing opponent. It doesn't work. It sets his bike on fire and just launches the other bike about 80 meters. And that is a hell of a jump, most definitely. Uh, reroutes to remain on Forza 6 is uh, racing a NASCAR when the game decides to respawn an opponent directly in front of him. That is a little bit cheaty. In fact, that is a lot bit cheaty on the game. For Can't say I see that one very often on Forza. Of all the dumb things driver tires do, that one, not particularly common. Trans Blitz on a Forza 5 is racing at Indy, gets things a little bit wrong. Uh, ends up uh, kind of connected together with the Indy Lights. The Indy Light is not best pleased and decides to carry the Formula 1 car down the road before depositing the pair of them into the uh, pit lane. Yeah, there's, there's no real small bumps at, at Indianapolis. On to a Project Cars with a, a fountain of open-wheeled vehicles. <laughs> Don't quite know what caused that one, but uh, yeah, play has nothing to do with it. It's just the game has decided to spawn in all of the vehicles on the same grid spot. And well, as you can see, that, that quite clearly doesn't work as they leave the, the fountain of vehicles stuck back there. Uh, Lil Chris 85 on grid 2 is uh, up in second place looking for an opportunity to get past the leader. Goes for a dive at the final turn, can't make it. Fortunately for him, the AI finds a very, very sturdy bollard that uh, gets stuck under the BMW and launches it into the uh, pit wall. Uh, still on grid 2, is sliding around and getting things wrong with an S2000 off the uh, cliff face there. Amazingly, can uh, land back on his wheels to carry on for drifting through the next corner. Now, normally that is the sort of thing that goes on in Dirt Rally, but uh, No Fear Racing would uh, find out not always the case as the Subaru is carrying a bit too much speed across the bumps and goes through a massive, massive tumble into the photo. That is some very, very vicious rolling for the Impreza, although it would stay pointing the uh, right way. Uh, BPRL Renegade, also on Dirt Rally, runs wide, finds a rock, triple barrel roll for the Hyundai, not quite landing in the right direction, but I don't think I've seen that much height from a car before on there. Cable Plants on Battlefield 4, first of all, gets pit manoeuvred by a helicopter. That's pretty damn impressive. <laughs> it's not very often you get pit manoeuvred by a chopper. But then Lag decides it wants to play as well as the Jeep is bounding around off-roading and uh, eventually just gives up and explodes. I mean, that, that's one way to deal with Lag. Forza would be in trouble if that's how it dealt with Lag, but... Um, yeah, it couldn't decide where it should be, so it should probably explode. Uh, Mr. Pixel on Live for Speed is coming around at the final corner. The AIs have had a crash. He ends up in, one, in the back of one of the AI cars, gets launched by another, and despite the terrible frame rate, would bounce and end up in a pit box. That's quite an impressive landing. I've got to say, of all the possible landings that you could have done, that's... Uh, Pretty good going. Uh, up next, RKDXNT on a Beam NG Drive is going for a jump through a crane, but doesn't quite have enough speed. Loses the rear wheels and most of the front wheels, and is surprisingly perfectly balanced. 
That's quite a quite a landing. Uh, up there, somehow the car not toppling off. IB Floydy on Just Cause 3 gets a wheelie with his tank. A little hard to see, but uh, as the tank's wheelie, it just picks up a tremendous amount of speed and then decides that it should go swimming. It is one of the amphibious vehicles, however, it's well outside the mission zone, so that has to be abandoned. And finally, we have Shaky077 uh, with uh, Just Cause 3 is trying to attach a portaloo to a dump truck. Now this shouldn't be particularly challenging as the portaloo gets connected to the back of the truck. Physics get very angry as the truck's beginning to twist. Oh, I don't know what was in that portaloo, but uh, whatever it was, it has managed to lift the dump truck onto its nose, and it'll remain parked there. That's uh, that's quite quite spectacular. Well done. You have managed to roll a dump truck using a portaloo. I'm very impressed. However, that is uh, it for this week's episode. If you have clips you would like to submit to this series, you can via our forums. There will be a link in the description. The very top of the page is the Faris Clip Submission section, and you can find all the rules and how to submit them in there. But that is it from me. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>